Hello and welcome. You're watching Startup Wednesday, the one show where we get you a 360 degree look at all the action in the buzzing startup space in the country. In recent years, it's online shopping that seems to have taken over and the billions of dollars that e-commerce companies tell us that they're making on the back of this as well as, of course, the business that sellers are doing. Among the big daddies of the space, Amazon India. And we're now joined by Amit Agarwal, VP and India country head of Amazon. Mr. Agarwal, well, thanks so much for taking our time to speak to speak to us. We've seen the kind of focus that Amazon now has uh, when it comes to India. Clearly, India is a market that's ticking all the boxes for you. Well, uh, uh, you know, India is a very important uh, uh, segment for us. Uh, as we have said, we have been investing very aggressively in India. We believe uh, online commerce in India is in a very, very early stage. Uh, there's a lot more innovation ahead of us than what we have seen so far. Uh, what we are really proud of is in the little over two years we have been around for the things that matter to customers, namely uh, massive selection, providing great value to customers uh, and a great value for sellers uh, and to provide fast and reliable delivery, Amazon India is already in a leadership position. So we're very excited by the progress that we have seen and that makes us very uh, confident about uh, uh, doing well. Uh, and we are investing aggressively with the ambition and the goal to make India our largest geography for Amazon outside of the US. Right, now you spent a fair number of years in Silicon Valley. You've got a lot of experience when we talk about markets in the US or working in the US. What has the India experience been like for you? What are the things that perhaps challenge you and excite you? And at the same time, what do you find frustrating about uh, being in India? Well, uh, you know, every country is uh, unique in its in its own regards, and India is no different with its own, uh, right? Uh, I think that the people spend a lot of uh, time talking about or thinking about what's different and what's uh, challenging. I think what's really heartening is uh, is what is similar. Uh, and uh, you know, this was something that we uh, had a uh, uh, had a viewpoint that it would be similar, but now we know for sure that customers in India, like everywhere in in the world, care about massive selection. They care about low prices and they care about fast and reliable delivery. Now, what's really different is how do you provide that to customers? Uh, and that's where some of the challenges, if you may, uh, come up, but those challenges are nothing but opportunities. Right. Uh, sellers in India are relatively new to online selling, so a lot more effort has to be put in to educate them, to train them, and to enable them. So we have built uh, capabilities such as Seller University. We have built uh, on the street force that uh, that educates seller about online selling, that, that helps them uh, uh, you know, produce digital catalogs and even be successful on a platform. Another one would be, uh, it's, it's the logistics uh, that allow us to deliver fast and reliably. And again, we look at it as a great opportunity. Uh, Amazon in India has built probably one of the largest build out of physical infrastructure for sellers. We have over 21 fulfillment centers now, uh, with over 5 million cubic feet of storage space. Uh, and uh, we've also built a last mile uh, delivery network reaching to over uh, 200 cities. Uh, and we are also partnering with Indian Postal Service and other delivery partners in innovative ways. Uh, so again, you know, this offers a way for you to innovate. Uh, you know, we have partnered with rural NGOs, with local entrepreneurs. We have created pickup points in more than 50 cities. All those innovations are possible. Uh, because we view these as opportunities more than as challenges. Right, now this is the space where the big daddies have really been at war to get every last customer, especially those sitting on the fence and not really active online shoppers. Many people say that Amazon works quietly. They don't really get into this, you know, this the personal battles. They don't, uh, they, they're not trolling each, uh, anyone on uh, Twitter and all of that, but working quietly behind the scenes to get the edge. How fair is that? Well, we are investing very aggressively in things that matter to customers. We genuinely believe that what customers really care about is providing them access to massive selection, uh, great prices, and fast and reliable delivery. And, and we have done a lot of investment in, in those three pillars. So for example, Amazon India is India's largest online store with more than 30 million products. And not only that, uh, we are offering more than 1 million products that are in stock sitting in the fulfillment centers 
uh, ready to be shipped immediately after an order is placed. That's that's very unique about Amazon uh, Amazon India. Uh, we have built, as I said, the largest infrastructure to enable sellers. Uh, you know, we are serving more than 100,000 sellers through our different services. Our fulfillment by Amazon and easy ship services are great examples of services that provide, uh, uh, that enable sellers to serve customers uh, nationwide. And not only that, we have invested in what we call as global selling that allows local sellers to go global and get access to our almost 300 million active customers across the world. And then um, uh, fast and reliable delivery. You know, I talked about the build out of the infrastructure, last mile network. Uh, so that's what we are focused on, on things that matter to customers. And in those areas, we are investing aggressively and we will not hesitate to do what is needed to ensure that we provide the best customer experience. Right now, if you look at numbers, is it fair to say that it's just not about profitability alone? I mean, we know that you know, Amazon uh, has rarely posted a profit, but it's not about uh, profitability alone. The red really in the books doesn't scare you. Is that the plan for India as well? Well, as I said, our focus is uh, to build the best customer experience. And on the things that matter to customers, we are investing very aggressively. And you'll see us continue to invest very aggressively to ensure uh, that we continue to provide the best customer experience out there. And in fact, as I said, our intent and we are working towards making India Amazon's largest geography outside of the United States in the next few years. Well, given all your experience, have you ever sort of thought about starting your own thing, starting up on your own? This is supposed to be the best time to do it, especially here in India. Well, you know, I'm, I'm probably in a dream job right now. I'm, I'm doing something that, that is invention at massive scale that's transforming people's lives. I couldn't be in a better place. Overall, very exciting. Uh, more than 30% of our orders are coming from really, really small towns. More than 60% are coming from tier two, tier three cities. Over 70% of our uh, demand is coming on the mobile app and mobile web. Uh, this is probably the best time uh, to be a customer in India and experience the Amazon experience. Well, I was actually going to ask you uh, that as well, that, you know, uh, tier two, tier three now set to be increasingly where the numbers are coming in for uh, online shopping for these e-commerce platforms. How do you sort of see this space? Well, uh, you know, we see that on an ongoing basis, not just during these big sales, that uh, a large percentage of our orders, in fact, a bulk of our orders now are from tier two, tier three cities. So I think it's a it's a more uh, norm than than a than a temporal event, and and uh, you know what we are seeing in the sale is no different. Right, and then uh, one last question before we let you go, which is, this is supposed to be the best time, like I said, to start up in India. The world is said to be watching our startups, our entrepreneurs like never before with, with really a Hawkeye. We in India and, and on certain shows like Start of Wednesday are certainly doing that. Give us a sense of how you see this space and, and if you have any tips for those who want to start off. Well, uh, you know, as I said, e-commerce is in a very, very early stage. We have a lot more innovation ahead of us than what we have seen so far. So you should see many different models emerge uh, and, and many winners emerge. Right, hearing it there from the gurus. Thanks so much, Mr. Agarwal, uh, for taking our time to speak to us. Pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you.